it's time for mathematics. Ma ma the mathematics. Ma the mathematics. Ma ma the mathematics. Hi there. You guessed it. It's time for another one of those magnificent and marvelous math lessons with Miss Antonia Bain. Let's begin. Let's talk about shape, shape, shapes. Let's talk about shape, shape, shapes. Let's look at today's objective. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the term polygons, identify polygons with up to 10 sides, and classify polygons as regular or irregular. Now, I know some of you are wondering, what is a polygon? Well, the word polygon means many angles. Poly means many and gone means angles. Many angles. A polygon is also a two-dimensional shape. In geometry, a two-dimensional shape can be defined as a flat plane figure or a shape that has two dimensions, length and width. A polygon is also a closed figure. This means that all the lines connect. Let's look a little more into polygons. Polygons are made up of three or more straight line segments. The sides of a polygon do not cross each other. Hmm, knowing that, these shapes are not polygons. Can you guys guess why? Well, from what we previously discussed, we know that a polygon is not a curved shape. A polygon is enclosed, which means that all of the line segments connect. And lastly, the lines of a polygon do not cross each other. Add some other very important keywords. Firstly, the side. The side is one of the line segments that make up polygons. This can also be referred to as its edges. The vertex, this is the point where two sides meet on a polygon. The plural of vertex is vertices. The vertex can also be referred to as corners or angles. There are many different types of polygons. Polygons are shapes with three or more sides. Today, we are going to focus on the polygons with up to 10 sides. Let's take a look. Triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. Now, let's take a deeper look into the world of polygons. Let's begin with the triangle. The word tri means three. Therefore, it has three sides, three vertices. Look at the real life example. I'm sure you've seen that before. A pizza is an example of a triangle. Let's look at quadrilateral. The word quad means four. Therefore, it has four sides and four vertices. I'm sure you've seen that before. We've all seen those in our schools. That's a real life example of a quadrilateral. Pentagon. The word pentagon means five. Therefore, it has five sides and five vertices. I'm sure we've seen that. Everybody knows about Superman. That sign is an example of a pentagon. Hexagon. The word hexa 
means six. Therefore, it has six sides and six vertices. Our mechanics have seen that before. We know what those screws look like. Heptagon. The word heptagon means seven. Therefore, it has seven sides and seven vertices. We've seen that before. I know my mom uses that to keep track of her medication. Octagon. The word octo means eight. Therefore, it has, you guessed it, eight sides and eight vertices. And I'm sure we've seen that as we drive down the road and walk along the street. We all know what a stop sign looks like. Nonagon. The word nona means nine. Therefore, it has nine sides and nine vertices. We've seen that before. That's an example of a coaster. That's something we use to put our cups on so that our furniture does not get water damage. And a decagon. Deca means 10. 10 sides and 10 vertices. And I'm sure we all know what that is. We all know what money looks like. Well, I hope you were paying attention because it's trivia time. And our category for the day is polygons. Can you guess these polygons? Well, we'll find out. Can you guess this polygon? It has eight sides, it has eight vertices, and it looks something like this. Hmm. Well, if you said octagon, you rock! Good job, guys. Can you guess this polygon? It has four sides, four vertices, and I'm sure you know what that cool water looks like. Well, if you said quadrilateral, Super job, guys! Here's another one. Can you guess this polygon? Hmm. Money, money, money. Money. It has seven sides and seven vertices. Hmm. I wonder. Well, if you said heptagon, Awesome! Now, now that you know all about polygons, what they are, and how to name them from three-sided polygons to ten-sided polygons, let's take a look at the difference between a regular versus irregular polygon. A regular polygon has all the angles equal and all the sides are the same length. They look something like this. The opposite of regular is irregular. So, that means that an irregular polygon has angles that are not all equal and sides that are not the same length. They look something like this. Regular, irregular. Let's look at these polygons. Based on that, can you guess which ones are regular and which are irregular? Let's begin with our first shape. Remember, a regular polygon has all sides the same. An irregular polygon does not have all sides the same, meaning that they are the same in length. Back to our shape. Is that a regular or irregular polygon? If you said irregular, you are right. Let's look at our next shape. Regular or irregular? That shape is regular. 
Let's look at shape number three. Regular or irregular? That is irregular. All of those sides aren't the same length and all of those angles aren't the same size. Shape number four. Regular or irregular? You guessed it. That is regular. Shape number five. Regular or irregular? That is quite irregular. Shape number six. Regular or irregular? That is regular. Let's do a quick recap now. Today, we learned that the word poly means many angles. We learned that polygons have as few as three sides or line segments. Some examples of polygons are triangle, meaning three, pentagon, meaning five, hexagon, meaning six, and octagon, meaning eight. We also know that a regular polygon has all sides equal and an irregular polygon does not have all sides equal. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Baines.